There are 8,000 restaurants listed in New York on Google Maps. To get this list, we have two options. Option one, go to Google Maps, do a search, realize you are limited to a maximum of 120 results, then repeat the process 67 times, copy pasting each listing into an Excel file. At a rate of two rows per minute, it should only take you three days to finish. That's assuming you don't sleep, eat or blink for too long. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fun. Option two, scraping. Web scraping allows you to gather data much faster. In the world of scraping, there is a whole bunch of tools available. Today, we are going to compare two of them, Appify and Scrap.io. How do they work? What data can you extract? Which one is the best option for scraping Google Maps? Hi, my name is Francois, and today we are comparing Appify and Scrap.io. Let's start with the basics. Appify and Scrap.io, what are they? Both are web scraping platforms. However, just by looking at their landing pages, you can notice a key difference. Appify is described as your full stack platform for web scraping, and Scrap.io is marketed as a Google Maps leads generator. This makes Appify a generalistic platform, while Scrap.io is a specialist. Appify operates as a marketplace, offering thousands of different APIs created by various developers. As a result, when searching for something related to Google Maps, you might find yourself overwhelmed with information, not always sure which path to take. For simplicity in the rest of the video, I will focus only on the three most popular APIs on Appify. Google Maps Scraper, Google Maps Extractor, and Google Maps Email extractor. On the other hand, Scrap.io has made Google Maps its speciality emphasizing ease of use. Two clicks, that's all it takes to get a preview of your results. So far we have only scratched the surface, but we haven't yet compared the various features of these two tools. We will evaluate them based on three criteria. Input required, search precision, and extracted data. Let's start with input. After some thought, I decided to remove Google Maps Extractor from my list for Appify as it overlaps a bit with Google Maps Scraper. For Google Maps Scraper on Appify, there are three input options. A keyword and a location. This works just like a standard Google Maps search. Option two, a URL. The URL which changes with every mouse movement is based on longitude, latitude, and zoom level. Number three, a customizable area. You can define your own geographical zone by drawing it with a polygon or a cycle. This is a niche feature, but sometimes it can be useful when targeting specific areas like city centers or islands. Now for Scrap.io, all inputs are handled in a single interface. It's based on a Google Maps category and four location criteria. Country, level one division, level two division, and city. Country and city are straightforward. But what do level one and level two division mean? Level one and level two division refer to administrative intermediate level between a city and a country. In the USA, for example, these correspond to states and counties. However, this naming adjusts based on the country. Since Scrub.io supports scraping in nearly 200 countries, it needed a universal naming convention. Depending on my plan, I can use all four inputs or just one if I prefer. In other words, I have the flexibility to script leads at a national scale. Now that we know about the inputs, let's focus on the filters. Essentially, the level of precision we can achieve in our searches. The filters in Google Maps Scraper are fairly basic, but they do exist. You can find them in the search filters and categories section. It makes sense. Here is what you can do. You can filter by your business name, meaning you can script only listings that include a keyword, a specific keyword in their title. For example, if you want to find all the McDonald's in the city, you can do so. You can also filter by rating. You can target businesses with a rating equal or greater than a specific value. This is a standard filter on Google Maps itself. You can choose to include or exclude businesses that are permanently closed. And you can target businesses with or without a website. Now the filters in Scrap.io. Scrap.io offers a broader range of filters. Access 
accessible via the filter button. It makes sense. These are divided into essential filters and advanced filters. All essential filters are booleans. Yes or no options. Whether the business is closed or not, the presence of a specific contact details like a website, a phone number, an email, or social media accounts like Facebook, I mean a meta account, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, X account, or LinkedIn. You also have the main activity only filter. But what does that mean? On Google Maps, there is a distinction between the primary category and the secondary categories plural for instance a restaurant might be listed under the primary category of restaurant but also tagged as a bar hotel and cafe in secondary categories this means the listing could appear in four different searches unless you limit it to the main category only on the other hand the advanced filters are much more advanced, as the name suggests. You can filter by price range, rating, number of reviews, number of photos, whether the listing has been claimed by the owner. This last filter is extremely valuable for identifying businesses that have invested some effort into their online presence. Additionally, you can check for the presence of contact forms on the business website or advertising pixels. So if the listing has a website, Scrub.io can extract SEO related data from it. Now let's talk about the third part, data. And the best way to make a correct comparison is to give it a try. So let's give it a try. Let's start with Appify. We will pick up Google Maps Scraper. And first thing first, remember we have to pick up a specific input. So I've decided to go with a URL. Where do I put it? Uh, use a Google Map URL instead of search term. Let's check everything out from the top to the bottom and let's see if uh, there is anything else we have to add. Search terms and location, no need to. Number of places, let's say 10. Language, English. What details do you want to scrape? The number of images, uh, let's say one. Do you want to extract reviews? Not necessarily. Do you want to extract questions? Define the search area by other geolocation parameters. Obviously Obviously, there is no need having all three inputs at once. Search filters and categories. We scrape everything and that shall do. We can run our task. 8, 9, 10. So we have access to the place name, the rating, the review counts, the address, the website, the phone number, the URL. So basic information you can find on a Google Maps page. We can have access to all fields if necessary. But despite everything, there is something we don't have right away. It's uh, information based on websites, meaning, among other things, email addresses and social networks. Can we retrieve that? Yes, but by using another API called Google Maps Email Extractor. So the way to set it up is really similar to Google Maps Scrapers. That's the reason why I didn't show you the process, but at the end of the day, we have access to Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter's account. And where is the email address? Here it is. So that's for Appify. Now what about for Scrub.io? As we have stated, with Scrub.io, we can gather our CSV OXL file by just inserting an activity, meaning a Google Maps category, on up to four location criteria. We are going to take the same example, meaning restaurant. As you can see, we have access to a bit more than one or two countries. So United States, and I can specify the level one on level two division, or I can directly type the city, Nashville. I click on search, et voila. I have access to an estimate of the number of results. And please note, it's only an estimate because once I click on export, Scrap.io will re-extract all the data one more time to make sure you have access to an updated database. But before that, some things that can be interesting to do is to filter my data out. For example, I can say I only want to get restaurants with at least one email address and I want to remove closed establishments. That might be it for the moment. I click on filter and I have my updated database. I can click on export, give a name to my export. Let's extract only 
10 lines. And I click on export. As you can see, all my exports I have done so far are located within the My Exports tab. It does make sense, I guess. And for each and every one of them, I can get a CSV or Excel file. Or if the export is older than 30 months, I can update them, meaning re-extracting the data with the same parameters. Let's take a look at what we have. So, 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 the Google ID, the name, the description, the main type, we have talked about it, and all types, secondary categories included, the website, the phone number, the full address, which is divided into different subtypes, blah, 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 longitude, latitude, the link, the email address, social media, links, first seen on, which is a good indicator of how old is the card, is the Google Maps card, the price range, reviews count, reviews rating, reviews per score, photos count, the occupancy, uh, meaning that graph, the working hours, if the Google Maps page has been cleaned by the owner, the characteristics, and we have changed colors. So from now on, we have access to SEO related data, website title, meta keyword, meta description, meta image, and so on. Additional email addresses, additional contact pages too, and additional social media links. And we end up with website technologies and website ad pixels. So we can more or less determine whether a specific company has already spent some budget on an advertising campaign. To conclude, Appify and Scrap.io both perform scraping on Google Maps, but they are not easily comparable. Appify is best suited for more niche extractions. However, it often requires a running curve to get familiar with a new API. On the other hand, Scrap.io is the ideal tool for large-scale, high-demand scraping. The data is continuously updated, ensuring a fast and seamless scraping experience. All you need to do is input your parameters, we will handle the rest. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can subscribe. And if you want to try out Scrap.io, by clicking the link in the description, you can get your first 100 leads free of charge. There is nothing else to see. Bye.